This is the book of uh, Acts chapter 2 and verse 17. It says, And it shall come to pass in the last days, says Yahweh, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. I want to start off with saying Shalom. First and foremost, all praise to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh who the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And I just wanted to just do a a video on a um a dream I actually had earlier this morning. You know, this is a real spiritual dream, man. You know, especially you know, if us knowing the time that we're living in, you know, which is what the time, you know, of those prophecies. That's why, you know, the spirit got on Apostle Dahar, you know, to call this year the uh, the year of the turn up, right? Because he always, you know, coins each year, you know, with a certain name, right? I believe last year was, he called it um the year of hastening to the day of the coming of the Lord, right? So this year he called it, you know, the year of the turn up, right? So we're in the year of the turn up right now, man. And I mean, hell, man, you know, this thing, it's definitely got turned up, man, because I mean, hell, last year started with that, what was it, the January 6th riot at the, uh, you know, the Capitol building, and then this year started off with, with this uh, whole Ukraine war, right, so, hey, look, man, the Lord ain't playing games, man, right, hey, look, that, that day's coming, man. All right, but anyway, I just wanted to do, to share a dream I had this morning. Um, so the dream started off like this. I was with a couple of my um, my buddies, right, that I knew back from, uh, say, middle school, right? We were just talking, you know, just taking a walk. It was actually at nighttime. And, um, you know, we were jo just joking around. You know, we were looking at the sky. We noticed that the clouds were in, you know, weird unusual shapes you know we were like ah you know that's weird you know and then you know i joke and say oh well you know yeah that that must be you know a sign you know that um that you know the day of the lord's coming right it must be a sign that we're you know living in the last times and then soon after that we were looking at the moon and the moon looks like it's starting to drip Right, the moon looks like it's melting, is what it looked like. So we we're like, oh shit, you know. So um, you know, so we're running around, you know, not knowing what the hell is going on. Which I could tell, right? I could tell what's happening. You know, this is the, uh, you know, this is the day of the Lord, man. That's why the scripture said that there would be a week. We might be able to get it, but when Christ was given the signs to look out for, He said there would be signs in the moon. And in the stars, right? And in the heavens. Right. So going back to the dream is um I lost my two friends at this point. You know, I, I don't know where they went. Um, but I was by myself here. So I'm I'm walking around and I'm near a um I guess we could call it like a garden area, but it was like in the city. Um, but I'm walking up these stairs that are near this garden, because like a leveled you know, one, there's like a few levels to it. So I'm walking and then I start to see people, you know, start to be lifted up, man. Right. And they were shining, you know, like what you see on the picture here or even much more than this. Right. They were get receiving glorified bodies. You know, I saw people which I would perceive were, you know, the elect or the remnant, you know, being lifted up. You know, they were receiving salvation. I saw them change. Right, I saw their glorified bodies. Right, so I'm sitting there, you know, I'm still on the ground seeing these people get taken up. I'm like, you know, I know what's going on. Right, that's what Christians would call the uh, the rapture. You know, that's taking place. Um, so what happened was as I'm, you know, ascending these stairs. You know, I'm wondering, well, why am I not? you know, getting taken away. And then when I get to the top of these stairs, um, I'm near like a railing or something. And then before I can approach there, there was a UFO that just like came up, 
right, that basically came up right in front of me and was, you know, sitting there. You know, so I go up to this to this UFO and um it has like a door on the front of it. The best way I could describe this door, it would be like a um it's kind of like see through, right? So if you have say for an example a microwave, right? You know how the door you can see through it. That would be the best way I could explain because what I seen on the other side was um basically like a bunch of fire. Right? There was fire on the other side. Right? So you know, I I was sitting there. I didn't know if it you know if I was going to get you know hit by that or what was going to happen. Right? So what happened was you know, it opened up and they basically invited me to um to to receive my um my immortality is what they were telling me. You know, you're welcome to come on in, right? And and receive your glorified bodies. Right? And I believe the word they used was receive your immortality. If my memory serves me correct. All right, but that was a real spiritual dream, man. And then as I'm entering in, I just got um a little vision of like the um there was just like what could be the what best word I could describe it. I just just saw like blue inside of there and then that was the end of the the dream right when i was going inside of the chariot right the ufo which we know that you know those of us that come around here you know we know that the ufos are the chariots of the most high right so just as i made it right i was receiving salvation you know by entering into those chariots you know the dream ended there man and i don't know what happened to my two other buddies because they weren't there with me at the point you know, but um, but that was a real spiritual dream, man. You know, a short dream, but um, definitely spiritual, man. You know, definitely a spiritual thing. You know, because in you know the moment, you know, I didn't know if I was gonna make it or not. Right, I didn't know, but guess what? I ended up making it at the end. Right, so you know that's a faith booster right there, man. I just wanted to get a couple precepts real quick. And then we'll call that the lesson there. Just bear with me for a moment. And it was an amazing sight to see, man. I actually saw, just like what you see here, right, the people being lifted up. However, you know, they were completely, they were glowing, man, right? They were receiving those glorified bodies, right, being beamed up into those chariots. Let me go to... Uh, was that uh, first Corinthians? I believe that's uh, okay. Yeah, uh, first Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 50 says, Now this I say, brethren, that the flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of Yahweh, neither doeth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. Right, but... Notice what it says there, right? It speaks about immortality. And again, you know, what what I heard is what when they told me to enter into the chariot. What they told me was, um, you know, along the lines of, you know, come, you know, gain or, or come take your immortality, right? Come get your immortality. Which is meaning what? That you're receiving that glorified body, man. Right, so as I said, man, that's a real spiritual dream right there, man. And I'm not making this up that it really happened. You know, so um, it's a real faith booster right there. I want to get another precept. Now let's go to the book of Second Exodus, Inside Joke, right? Second Ezra's, 
you know, it, it's funny, man. Shout out to anybody who gets that joke. We had a cat that called into the stream the other day, man. This guy kept saying he was trying to disprove the uh, the book of Second Ezra, but he kept calling it the um, he kept calling it the book of Second Exodus. <laughs> now, I don't know if maybe he had a problem pronouncing the name, or if he was trying to be funny. I I don't know. Probably sound like he had a um a hard time trying to pronounce the name you know but he, he called it the book of second exodus <laughs> all right so so second ezra's chapter what is that chapter two and verse uh bear with me for just a second just one second all right, a second Exodus chapter 2 and verse 35. It says, Be ready to the reward of the kingdom, for the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore. Flee the shadow of this world. Receive the joyfulness of your glory. I testify my Savior openly. O oh, receive the gift that is given you, and be glad, given thanks unto him that have called you to be to the heavenly kingdom. Let me turn the page real quick. Arise up and stand. Behold the number of those that be sealed in the feast of the Lord, which are departed from the shadow of this world and have received glorious garments of the Lord. Take thy number, O Zion, and shut up those of thine that are clothed in white, which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. The number of thy children, whom thou longest for, is fulfilled. Beseech the power of the Lord, that thy people which have been called from the beginning may be hollowed. I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised Yahweh with songs. And in the midst of them there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest, and upon every one of their heads he set crowns, and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So I asked the angel, and said, Sir, what are these? And he answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing, and have put on the immortal, and have confessed the name of Yahweh. Now are they crowned and receive palms. I believe that's all I wanted to uh, to get there. But, um, but yeah, man, that was definitely you know, a, a spiritual dream, you know, that I had this morning, man, and going back to, um, you know, what we read at the beginning, you know, what is that, Acts uh, 2.17, you know, that in the last times, you know, dreams would be given, you know, it's definitely a real faith booster, man, you know, but anyway, I just wanted to, to just do that quick video, I hope that was, um, you know, encouraging, you know, and um, if anybody made it to the end of this video, go ahead and put hashtag, uh, say, hashtag UFO in the comments section just to see if anyone made it to the end. And uh, I'm going to end off with saying Shalom.